Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to Microsoft, Windows 10 will officially end support on October 14 this year. And in regards to that upcoming end of support, PCGH has posted an interesting article, which I'll leave a link in the description. I'll just do a quick overview for the purpose of this video. PCGH in this article says that apparently the Xbox Game Bar which is quite crucial for players with an AMD Ryzen X3D CPU with more than one CCD, which stands for Core Complex DAR, is crashing Windows 10 when clicking on the options in the Xbox Game Bar. Now, unfortunately, I cannot show you in real time the Xbox Game Bar because the overlay is not picked up by my screen recorder, which is quite common for overlays and screen recorders. But uh, just a quick recap, this is more or less what the Xbox Game Boy is all about. And obviously, it's a system app and you can access it from the start menu on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, according to the report, PCGH's editor, who uses a 99950X3D and wanted to configure his CPU, via the Xbox Game Bar by clicking on the options said that the app stopped working on Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Enterprise. So that's basically what is happening. And just a quick explanation why the Game Bar is quite essential for users with an AMD Ryzen X3D CPU because the Windows Xbox Game Bar, according to Neowin, carries the necessary optimization for handling this task scheduling job, like gaming workloads, which would be correctly passed onto the CCD with a 3D cache, which is done via the 3D vCache performance optimizer driver that is delivered through the AMD chipset driver package. And all a user needed to do was assign a particular title or game by checking the remember list by checking the remember this is a game option inside the Xbox Game Bar settings. So basically that's why it's quite necessary for users with that specific CPU. Now according to the report, the Xbox Game Bar can be opened as usual, but configuring the app by clicking on the options as mentioned will basically crash the application with an error code 0xc000005. That's a lot of zeros, but nonetheless, that's the error code. Now, according to the report, this wasn't isolated just to one system. Apparently, two other systems were affected by the same issue. There was a desktop PC with Windows 10 Pro installed and another with Windows 10 Enterprise. So, on all three systems, according to the report, as soon as you want to configure the app, the Xbox Game Bar, it crashes with that error. So if we head to the said post, and we go right down to the bottom, it is said that since I can now verify it on three different PCs, it's official. Microsoft has unofficially shut off the Windows 10 service. There's nothing to be found about it anywhere. A disgrace in my opinion. And that's according to the specialist editor by PCGH. So I'm just putting this out there because this is not the first time I've posted on something where Microsoft could be sabotaging. Where I posted a video about three months ago, is Microsoft sabotaging Classic Outlook for New Outlook for Windows? I'll leave the video linked for what it's worth. And at this stage, there is no response from Microsoft. And Microsoft hasn't given any official explanation. So I'm just putting it out there. If you are affected, that's the reason why this could be happening. So it begs me to ask the question, is Microsoft sabotaging different components of Windows 10 to get you to move on to Windows 11? I have seen a couple of comments on the channel in different scenarios regarding Windows 10 that some viewers think that Microsoft is deliberately doing some strange things to Windows 10 to basically cripple the operating system to get users to move on to Windows 11. But let me know your thoughts down below. 
Is Microsoft sabotaging Windows 10 or not? I'd be interested to know your thoughts. And if I get any more information, as always, or any official word from Microsoft, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.